I pull it back enough, we might be able to get away with it. So I can kind of walk y'all through. Thank God for the glare. Because y'all know YouTube be also straight out bull. So, yeah. So what happens if you couldn't see? Some of y'all gonna have to zoom in. That's as best I can do. I still gotta stay monetized, bruh. Still gotta stay monetized. So please do not get upset with me. And if you do get upset with me, just have a little understanding. You'd be like, man, Seti Nash. But here's what I think happened. I think Fulio and his homie was in the car smoking, and they seen more than likely somebody walk through. With a gun, no, it's called firearm. Sorry, firearm. And basically, they try to hit the dash, but because that barricade, I mean, the little—if you want to call it a barricade—I never know what to call that little cement part. When the other dude came up, he actually was trying to hit him. I think Fulio tried to jump in the back, and more than likely took shots to the stomach to the leg they probably hit an artery or they probably put a couple in his lungs and that was that does it have backdoor vibes of course it always will until you catch the people responsible for it that's gonna always be in the air right add it with Fulio bruh I probably can see what he was trying to do Bear with me. He probably thought, man, I'm on some low-key stuff. This is going to be me and my folks in the car smoking. And if it's just us, you can't really tell. But it's just us. If it would have been a bigger crowd of people, I think in his mind, this is just me thinking being a, a, a optimist pessimist. <laughs> Even though you really can't be one, I just made that up. I think he probably thought if there was more people, there would be more attention. If there's more attention, then that means more shots would disperse and then more people get hit. I think more than likely what ended up happening is there were some people who ran out after they heard all the shooting and the cats started busting back. And that's what ended up happening. The driver for sure took one. And if he didn't, boy, you better, you better get a religion now. <laughs> or start practicing your religion even further. But other than that, bro, I don't, I had an idea, but I told y'all, them lights being glared like that mean that they stopped. So when he tried to hit them, there was a speed bump right there, and there was that little barricade. And that's what saved the shooter, because the shooter would have been, wow, that boy would have been airborne, because I ain't going to hold you. Hey, you got the drop on me? I'll take us both out. F it. You're not just going to take me out. You're going to have to earn this because I'm taking you as well. You're going to remember this. But it's it's one of the things about comfort and sneakiness and being brazen and thinking to yourself, man, I can do this and I can do a whole bunch of things and not believing in the consequences of your actions. I've seen people saying in comments on Instagram sites and stuff like that. Oh, he was just tired of living and all this stuff. And in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, how? Little dude just turned 26. I'm not going to say at the top of his game, but definitely still doing numbers. Definitely still making money running around Tampa. And I'm pretty sure what ended up happening is him being there for a day or two, his heightened awareness started to go down. I'm pretty sure he thought more than likely if they was going to get it cracking, they would have got it cracking at that club and he would have had a fair chance to essentially get up out of there. I don't think in his wildest dreams, he thought that if he came out there late smoking weed and all that, because you can't smoke in a hotel, that he was going to get caught. But it's the oddest thing. All the rappers and all that crap and everything like that, they always smoke in hotels. So I think more than likely, he probably was like, man, I don't want to get kicked out of a hotel. I've already been kicked out the Airbnb. But but he was moving sloppy. And I think being there for a day or two, is, that's what they say, basically threw down his awareness. There's, there is no other way I can spin this at all because for him and dude, 
It just makes sense. And I think probably what ended up happening is they crashed and they just finished off the job. Or, yeah, nah, I think they just finished off the job. I think they don't know that Buddy was dead and all that stuff and everything like that. And they just sunk more shots that way. But other than that, man, rest in peace to dead, bro. Unfortunately, the worst part about this is more lives will be destroyed. Nobody's going to learn anything. The ghetto, the impoverished individuals will never learn. What's going to end up happening is somebody's family member, somebody's cousin is going to pass down that pain to somebody's nephew or somebody's son, and that's going to keep it going. And there's going to be some moron who's going to say, it'll never stop. See, we can't never stop because this person killed that person and all that. But we've had whole entire wars. Go look at the history books. We had a civil war where people that grew up like each other was in parliament together. They went to war. And then you know what ended up happening? They just realized the cost was too damn high. Will Jacksonville unite behind this? Hell no, nah, it's going to tear itself up. And a lot of people are going to end up going to jail or a lot of people are going to end up dead. It'd be either way it go. This ain't the generation that's going to change. It's just not. I just watched uh, DJU and FBG Butter and, 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 and I don't even call it FBG Butter. FBI Butters and, and Lil J and Butters made a lot of sense. He was like, bro, they lost people too. Lil J, man, Lil J, you ain't even getting out no time, so I wouldn't even be having a conversation with you. Because you're too stupid. You're too dumb. If you would have realized that you could have persuaded a parole board or something like that to get yourself out, your idiotic self could have just lied and say, we push a piece. But your pride and added with the fact that you think you in, in, in heaven in there because we've seen some videos. Now, me personally, I don't care about what a man does in the comfort of his own home and his bed and stuff like that. I just don't. I don't find any of that interesting. I don't care if Lil J doing whatever he doing because I've seen a couple of y'all in the comments on that uh, that lady's Instagram. And uh, once they start screenshotting a couple of y'all, y'all going to be mad. I seen y'all double tapping. And I, I ain't going to hold you. From down here, fire. I wouldn't do it, but hey, that's just y'all. I don't, but I personally don't care. But to the subject at hand, people have declared peace when war was too high, and right now, bro, when the when the war happens, the law is going to fall silent. You're not going to see a big police presence. You're just not. The term from what is it? Uh, Shakespeare is inner armor item seal it legis. And what it means is in times of war, the law falls silent, meaning anarchy all around. All around. So we're going to see, bro. It's sad. It's devastating. It's dumb. Because as I said, your death isn't something that just happens to you. It happens to everybody around. We don't know the little kid that was super close to Fulio that's pissed off. That's a teenager that's about to kick it off. We don't know. But what we do know is there are individuals who are pissed off. No matter how we've seen them. No matter how disrespectful we've seen them. Y'all got to remember. Uh, young and they started this. <laughs> they robbed somebody. Got shot at, and then that's what started it. This is Young and Ace and them folk, bro. So we getting we getting basically the revenge person gets killed. And I ain't gonna hold you. All them young and ace songs suck. They do. I don't give a damn. Fulio is a better rapper, made better songs. And I'm not saying this because oh Fulio's dead and all this stuff and everything like that. I know more Fulio songs than I do Young and Ace songs. Only thing I know Young and Ace is who I smoke. And then talking about his girlfriend and all that stuff and everything like that. But Kenyatta, keep dropping your diss tracks because that's all you got, bro. When you start actually trying to make other songs, because what's going to end up happening is some BS going to happen. And you're going to come out and try to act tough and all this stuff and everything like that. And you think that this going to rise up and all this. They are playing you. Big time playing you. You're too stupid to even know it. 
They have enough to charge you with the federal RICO. And I would bet my bottom dollar, bro, that it's going to come. They just want to take more of y'all out. They want more of you morons to keep on killing. Because y'all not going to have the money. You definitely ain't going to have the money. You might get a nice little attorney and stuff like that. But it ain't about you. If you've been watching the YSL trial, this is the number one channel to come to for the YSL trial. You learn it ain't about you, fool. It's about the people around you. Those are the ones that do you in. The ones who take the stand, the one who basically get off and get over. So it is what it is, man. Share to keep your people aware. Subscribe to the bell. Stay notified. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.